What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSci Studio and welcome back to your 34th Java programming tutorial. This is like my 7th time doing this tutorial. I'm really tired right now. I don't even know why I'm making tutorials. I guess I'm just kind of bored, but yeah, so if I'm like stuttering and like I sound like I'm falling asleep, it's because I am. And it's not because I don't like making tutorials. It's just like I'm really, really tired today. Like I had a really long day of driver's ed. It was so boring. Like <laughs> it was brutal. Anyways, uh, I don't remember if I said, but we're doing 2D arrays today, so, um, it's a, it's, it's a pretty complicated, uh, topic. It was one of the ones that gave me a little bit of trouble. I know, like, I had to rewatch a whole bunch of tutorials, read some books on it, to actually fully understand it. So if you guys don't get it right off the bat, um, don't worry about it, don't get discouraged, just redo my tutorial a couple times, and then once you feel like you're getting it, um, just make your own tutorial, make your own uh, program, sorry, and uh, try and expand your knowledge that way. And if you guys get it right off the bat, <laughs> congratulations, you are a genius. Because I don't know anyone who gets it right off the bat. So first off, I'm just going to refresh your knowledge on how to make a one-dimensional array. Uh, so to do that, make an integer va variable, call it basic array. And then square brackets because it's an array. And then set it equal to some values. And so you would just stick in 3, 4, 5 or something inside these curly braces. So this isn't part of the tutorial. I was just trying to refresh your uh, memory on how to make a basic array before we get into 2D arrays again. So let's get rid of that. Next thing, we're just we're going to make an integer um, 2D array. So just write int. Next thing, we're going to name our uh, 2D array. We'll call it the array. Really, really um, special name, you know. The array, and then instead of having one set of square brackets, we're gonna have two sets of square brackets because it's a two-dimensional array. I'll clear up uh, why we actually use um. Yeah, I'll just clear up uh, why we use uh, two sets of square brackets in the next tutorial. It'll make more sense later on. Uh, so next thing you want to do is you want to set some values to this 2D array. In order to do this, you need to put down a set of curly braces, and inside those curly braces, you have another set put a comma and then another set. Now that's probably kind of confusing but okay just think of it this way. Don't think about it. Yep, Just don't think about it. I'll just do it and then um, I'll explain why after we do it this way and it'll make a lot more sense. So I'm gonna be making a 2 by 2 array. Um, so to make it look more like a two-dimensional array I just bring this down I just hit enter and then I bring this over like that and now I'm just going to add some values into these two curly braces here. So let's put in a 12 and then a 34. And then down here we'll put in a 67 and a 3. Now, in order to reference, you're probably wondering how the heck do I reference this? Like, remember with a 1D array, we just referenced the first one as 0, the next one as 1, the next one as 2. But with a two dimensional array, it's kind of set up like a grid. This would be, um, think about like Battleship, I guess, kind of like that. Um, this would be position 0, comma, 0, because this is row 0, and it's also column 0. This would be row 0, column 1. This would be um, row 1, column 0, right? That 67 is row 1, column 0. This one would be row 1, column 1. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of, that's exactly how you should think about it. So if I just print out something, let's go S out, um, the array, whoops, and then I just put down my two square brackets, and then if I wanted to reference, uh, let's say, the 34 here, we have to think to ourselves, okay, this number 34 is in the first, um, row, so that would be the zero with row because um, with arrays they always start at zero because computers are weird like that and it's also in the second column so that would be the first uh, index so we put our row number here and our column number here so we're at the zero with row on the first column so if we run this we should get 34 and if we don't I did something wrong and we did okay that's cool uh, so if we wanted to reference let's say 67 we're on the first row, and well, the f the second row, but that's the first um, 
row index number. So this would be the zeroth row. That would be the uh, first row. I'm probably confusing you guys by saying the second. So I'm just gonna okay. Whenever I reference a number, I'm gonna reference it as it as if it was its index. So this would be zero zero. This would be zero one. This would be um, one zero. This would be one one. So as I said, this one would be one zero sixty seven. All right, and uh, if we wanted to access three, it'd be just one one. So you could mess around with this, like you could even you could actually uh, add in, let's say, like that comma three. So this would be um, zero zero. This would be zero one. This would be zero two. This one would be um, one zero, and this one would be one one. So let's access this one out here. This one would be zero, two. So we should get a three. Should probably change that to like a three hundred or something. So we got a three, and bam, we get three hundred. So I really recommend this. Set it up as if it was a grid, like that, and uh, mess around with this. Add your own. You could add as many as uh, values as you want. So I would mess around with that. It's just kind of getting the feel of an actual 2D array. It's kind of weird at the start, and I hope I explained this well enough for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please email, uh, inbox me or something, or leave a comment in the in the comment box below, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. So uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.